we are happy to release for you a firmware update for Shuttle Control Module. It is a significant update, and besides the small improvements, it received MPE support. MPE stands for Multidimensional Polyphonic Expression, and it is used with the modern expressive controllers made by such companies as Rolly, Haken, or Roger Lin Design. The general idea behind the MPE is an updated MIDI protocol in which every voice has its own MIDI channel with the multidimensional controls. We collaborated with Rolly and will show you how MP works with a shuttle on example of the Rolly Seaboard Rise. We have polyphonic 4 voice patch with one further generator, one envelope and gate from the ground terminal per each voice. Seaboard delivers a Neyman's amount of MIDI data and it takes time to tame this data in a musical way. There is a lot of control from various kinesthetic action which we daisy chain to two shuttle controls to increase the overall amount of CV outputs up to 32. Every column of 8 jacks logically corresponds to each voice and modules correspond to the same voices in the allocation grid first one, second, third and fourth. So far, each shuttle handles two voices. Every pressed key on the seaboard is a voice that generates the following MIDI data. Note, translated into one wall per octave pitch CV on a separate MIDI channel. Horizontal movement of the finger on the key defines the pitch bender, x-axis control. Z-axis or depth corresponds to the channel aftertouch, how much finger pressure is applied to the key. Third dimensional y-axis is the position of the finger on each key. By default, it is assigned to the CC number 74 and it's called timbre. Note on off and velocity as on the usual MIDI keyboard. Let's get to the patch. We are patching now one voice and then every action takes three more times since we have four voices. The final output of the further generator is patched into the gate input. Pitch CV1 is patched into key input of the carrier VCO. CV2 is identical voice pitch as a CV1 and it's patched into the key input of the modulator. It is important for frequency modulation that both oscillators track to the same frequency ratio to obtain harmonically pleasant result. Those CV outputs are already merged with pitch bander with 48 semitones or 2 octaves range by MPE standards. CV3 is assigned for separate pitch bander output, but we don't use it because already have merged with CV for less cable use. CV4 is patched into the check-in, trigger input of the envelope. Unipolar envelope output opens the filter's cutoff, X CV input, and the corresponding red knob is set to the 3 o'clock. Turn a bit of resonance using the blue Y knob to add some spice. CV5 is assigned to velocity to react how fast the key is pressed. We patch it into the mood index of the further generator and adjust the blue knob to 3 o'clock and the red knob to 12 and turn the frequency switch on. CV6 is assigned to aftertouch and is patched into the further wave shaper CV input with the blue knob on 2 o'clock. CV7 is assigned to a timbre, vertical movement of the finger over the key, and is patched into the order of the carrier. We set the blue order knob to 12 o'clock. Finally, CV8 and 16 are assigned to the node gates of other voices than the current shuttle control has assigned above, so each shuttle will cycle properly through all four voices. We repeat all procedure above for remaining three voices. We connect the seaboard directly into the first shuttle controls host connection. To daisy chain another shuttle control, we check device to host checkbox for the current preset and connected another shuttle control to the device socket. 
Both ground terminals route their stereo output into the cockpit mixer and its output is recorded into the camera. Cabin pressure and fever are set by taste. Before the performance we have to tune all our oscillators. Since all voices are cycling we just press 4 times any A note and then manually tune all 8 oscillators until both LEDs light up. Now we are ready to play. We hope that this new update has increased the possibility using shuttle control in your setup. Enjoy new features. Thank you for watching.